Okay, so it's really bright. Here we are in Thailand, obviously, my swimming pool. And uh, I just wanted to get to some things that I thought were kind of important because uh, I was reminded of it from doing it the other day. And that's uh, something that will help you. I'm giving you free information on how to increase your ability and your L2, whatever uh, that might be. Uh, it was because, uh, why? Ho parlato con Giovanni, un inglese, più o meno. Abbiamo parlato molte cose. The thing was, I was talking to this guy who was uh, claiming to be uh, Mexican, Italian, and English all at the same time. <laughs> anyway, but the point was, we were having a discussion about different topics. And the reality is, uh, this is in writing on the internet, but uh, one of the things that you can do to increase your ability in expressing yourself in a language is to have heated discussions with people over different topics. Now, of course, a lot of people are scared of these topics nowadays. They all want to be sick of fans to each other and act like, well, if, you don't, if he's not completely being superlative all the time and, and overly doing the... Uh, <laughs> you know, accolades, then you're negative, which is incorrect, and it just shows some sort of wishy-washy, no integrity, no spine person in my book, and many other people <laughs> share the same opinion. But what, I'm, what I was going to say here is that one of the ways that you can increase your ability to express yourself, to exprimer not long, is for, uh, to use certain topics like politics, different ideas about uh, well, let's see, certain ones like uh, uh, pollution, contamination, water, can you drink the water, how about the, how about the uh, usage of, of uh, organ, human organs, things like that, people's views on religion, people's views on uh, any sort of, uh, like what's going on with the war, any uh, wars in the Middle East, obviously, the imperialism. <laughs> United States, all of those sorts of things will lead you to having to express yourself with more uh, lofty and more complex thinking patterns because of the lexicon that's required to express yourself correctly in that. Also, it will teach you to be able to think on your feet quickly. The themes will be the same, but you won't say the same words over and over, so it's not like, it's not like a monologue of the, of the same old crap of... Uh, I, uh, you know, I, uh, I study uh, Spanish. Uh, I think it's really good, uh, you know, uh, you know, studi estudio español porque es una lengua increíble. La gente es la gente más buena del mundo. Es porque los hispanohablantes tienen una manera de expres expresarlo. This is stupid, okay? Something like that. It's nothing, uh, nothing compared to having to do it. Uh, real time uh, overheated topic. So once again, to recap here, to recapitulate, you should be practicing your um, languages on topics that are controversial. How about alien life? <laughs> Things like that. The greenhouse. Uh, well, that's you know, if you and uh, you know, stick to the uh, los hechos, le fe. Okay. Uh, all those things because that's going to increase your ability to be logical, to reason, to express yourself, to think quickly, and fluidez. Okay, so uh, anyway, that's the tip that's, uh, you can argue over more trivial things like which, what is the best beer, what's the best type of car, uh, what type of women you like, all sorts of things like that. Uh, who's your favorite? A people, you know, a football team, squadra. Uh, calcio. Uh, so anyway, the factor is do that. Like I said, you're going to see some big gains. So it's another another free lesson from the power linguist because I'm too legit to quit. <laughs>